This week's episode of Awesome Cast is brought to you by Drobo, the lovely people who will make sure that your data is safe at all times. Go ahead and check it out at awesomecast.com. Click on the Drobo link on the right-hand side to learn more. Hey guys, welcome to the Awesome Cast Never number 71. Things are all new, all different. Uh, we we lost half we lost half the show about an hour before the show. So we're like, what do we do? It's myself, I'm Mike Sorg, uh, always here in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, and on the couch is the Chachi. Chachi says dot net. How are you doing, Chach man? I am doing well. You're relaxing on the couch since we just flipped things up, but thank you for setting up tonight. Oh, no problem. Good practice. That's what I'm Good here practice. for. That's what he's there for. That's to help keep out. me around. Exactly. Of course, this is the awesome cast where uh, we talk tech, we talk gadgets, we we have witty tech ban- banner and uh, show our nerd wangs. Uh, Rob Daly. Can you say that? Can I, I? Well, I am. Okay. Uh, of course, you can contact us at contact at awesomecast dot com seven two four two five eight cast seven two four two five two 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 seven eight. If you want to get a hold of us, or uh, of course, we're all everything's at awesomecast dot com. You can find us on. All kinds of things. The iTunes, the Blip TV, the Roku box, uh, the Stitcher now. We're on there. Apparently, uh, I know some of our shows are doing pretty good on the new Stitcher app, Chachi. Yeah, t- yeah tell me about it. <laughs> no, that was Mevio that you got those numbers from. Oh, okay. We are also on Mevio.com, uh, which has also been really interesting. So hello, all new people so, uh, to all those services. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Hi. All. Hi. Welcome. New people. Thank you. Um, as you can see, uh, we do have something different going on tonight. Let me turn them up so we go. We have a Google Hangout, so we had to reply. We had to replace Rob with a room full of people. Yes, it room looks full. like looks like they might come and go, but uh, we're going to chime in. Uh, everybody, say hi. Hi. Say There's one. Hi. I said Hello. I was the only one that said hi. There's apparently a <laughs> tremendous delay on this, so this we'll we'll we'll, we'll uh, continue to kind of uh, go go round table and see what people think. So yeah, so. what we're gonna do is <clears throat> Sorg and I will discuss something, and then we'll drop it to the hangout. And, yeah, and we'll drop it to the hangout <laughs> and let them battle it out. This is true. Po- this is podcasting against the best experimentalism, <laughs> hey. and it might be the computer. I, it's not the fastest computer. This is a Pentium. Uh, like a Pentium D or something over here. We were hit so, with some people not showing up. Yes, yes, we randomly. We replaced those people not showing up. With, with a whole room of people that yes, showed up. Because you guys are the best. Yeah, we're trying to, we're, we're using technology. That's right. That's so. right. All kinds. Well, let's get right into it. Like I said, we got some feedback uh, this week. Uh, Tom, also known as Sonic Screwdriver. We won't say the other one on this show in the chat room. Who's right. been joining us here weekly. He had a request for a future cast. Which can be this one. Uh, can you guys compare... <laughs> what? Uh, someone said that that's like when they ask you to sing in church and only guy, one guy commits to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. it's chat appreciation night. It is chat appreciation night. Um, so, uh, he said, could you guys compare the new Kindle Fire with the iPod, iP- iPod Touch? The price difference kind of makes the iPad comparison cut and dry. Thanks. Um, I don't, we didn't really get too much into the Kindle last week, did we, Chach? No, we didn't. Um, but the more I'm looking at it, I really kind of think this is going to be the thing I recommend to people that don't, like, I want an iPad, but I don't want to drop $500 on it. Yeah, this is going to be that device where um, people are like, you know what? I have this money. It's not five hundred dollars, but I have some money. I have this nice chunk. Yeah, it's not a super chunk. Right, it's a mini chunk. Right, a little. And chunk. And this is more of a mini chunk kind of thing. Yeah. So, although on another on the same level, I was in Rite Aid the other Sunday, to be exact, mm-hmm. and behind the counter, they have a ninety nine dollar tablet. Oh yeah, it's Just like a random yes, Android gen- tablet or yeah, something. Yeah, random generic Android tablet for ninety nine dollars. Okay. Well, you're going to see a lot of those. Yeah, but I think this is the first one that really kind of kind of does it right there. I mean, it um, it, it, it's Android, yes, but it hides all the stuff that is are the reasons I don't say, "Hey, go for Android." All that stuff I say is the windows of phones, and <laughs> I mean, it has it has apps. They have their app store. It has all the media. It's a consumption device. It's not a production device, you know. 
Whereas you and I, we're using iPads here, you yeah. know, in the studio. I have two of them yeah. on my lap right now. <laughs> All right, maybe that's a little excessive. We're using them as cash registers at the cafe. We're using them as uh, teleprompters when we're shooting our show. And there's all kinds of other stuff for producing content. Yeah. This is a consumption device. And for the people that – and it has a browser. We didn't talk much about the Silk browser which I think is going to be really interesting. Uh, if you haven't, you know... Oh, that sells me on it right there. Well, there's Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's. I think it's got everything people will mostly want out of it. Right. So. It, well, it does everything that the tablet does that mm-hmm. people want out of a tablet. Um, Sonic in the chat room says it's the low-commitment tablet. Ooh, that's good. Where you that's... don't feel as bad if you don't end up using it as much as you think you're going to. Exactly, exactly. Now, I know, uh, Chilla, we got you here in the uh, Google Hangout. Let me bring this up here. Or Do we? No, he's disappeared. He's disappeared. Who's that new guy? Who's that other <laughs> Who's that? guy? He- hello, new person. Uh, Edward, I think your name was, I saw there. I don't know. It might be a delay. That's why this is an experiment. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, well, hey, how about you guys? Uh, uh, Riz, have you been looking at the uh, the uh, Kindle Fire? Oh, Chilla you- left the Hangout because there's a huge echo and you can't. Oh, mute- yeah, you can't <laughs> mute the audio from the the Hangout. Okay. So. Okay. Um, hey, hey, Riz, what do you what do you think about this as a, as a as a consumer? Uh, I don't really know because I do have an iPod, mm-hmm. but I'm not really looking for anything like big. It's like a tablet or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, who knows? Maybe it, it's something I would want to buy in the future, but not right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but, I mean, you know, in comparison to yeah, an iPad, no, though, you think that's more... Got time to talk right now. What, the hell? what was that? I couldn't hear you. Oh, somebody else I think is talking. Uh, yeah. uh, Wheels, you're actually a tablet user yourself. What do you think of this? Um, Honestly, I haven't really looked at it much, but, I mean, I've been keeping an eye on it. Mm-hmm. And... uh. As you can see from my uh, yeah. thing, here's my tablet right here, which is the Galaxy really? Tab, which you guys have talked about on the show quite a bit and stuff, and I haven't had any problems with it, and I've enjoyed it a lot, so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying it just to see how it responds as well as mine does. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's been training you pretty well in the, in the meantime there, so... Um, but yeah, uh, I, I think uh, I, I think it's going to be it. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of you know Amazon didn't compete with the iPad. They filled a gap that they're not filling, which is that under market. You know the people that are like you know the iPad is a luxury device. Either way, people say I want an iPad or not. You know I could really kind of use an iPad. You know which Kindles are more people <laughs> that just want to read books and stuff. Yeah, and this is a consumption device. It's it's really a mechanism for them to sell more stuff on Amazon. Right. In the long run, and it's a great idea. Oh yeah, it's great. It, it, it's just like a gate open to them, right? You know, I mean, they've been playing around with the idea. What if, uh, uh, what if eventually uh, you get Amazon Prime? Like maybe, you know, I can see you do a two year commitment to Amazon Prime, which is what one hundred and eighty dollars, mm-hmm. and you get one of these. Right, that'd be tremendous. It buys you right into it, and uh, and, and and it's right there. So, all right, we got a little bit more email, I believe. Let me bring up the notes again. Uh, Ashley, we had one from Funky Dung, who uh, contributes often to the show. I know we don't often go to his stories because of all the other stuff that comes up. Uh, but this one, U.S. Bill S978 would criminalize uh, some streaming. Um, this is... Uh, well, we've talked about this before. Uh, I know you, you and I, Chachi, we talk, you know, we know, you know a bit about... This is going to sound really wrong. We know a bit about pirating movies. Yes. Uh, <laughs> is that safe to say, sir? <laughs> I mean, you know... I, no, I've openly you know, yeah. discussed me yeah. getting in trouble or getting warned for pirating things. So. And, and, and from what I understand about this, um, you know, usually, like, okay, BitTorrent, we don't do it. But if you go to Mega Upload, you go to something else, you're kind of, you know, it, it doesn't feel like you kind of have a free pass as the viewer right. at this point. Apparently, that's what this bill is going to change. Uh, according to this, uh, according to hostingindustrywatch.com that Funky Dung passed along, uh, the the uh, bill uh, could make crim- criminals of people posting movie clips or Let's Play videos on YouTube. Uh, the And I'm surprised that's not already a criminal act. Uh, and I don't know what it means by Let's Play. I don't know. That, that's how it's stated in the video, in the, in the, in the, uh, probably in the law. 
that they're trying to pass. Oh, okay. So that means, who knows the interpretation that some congressman decides to, to call it. Gotcha. it. It's probably, you know, explained somewhere else, I would hope. Uh, on YouTube uh, and consumer advocacy, free speech and gamers groups are gearing up to fight it. Uh, the reproduction and distribution of copyrighted works, for example, sending a copyrighted movie over a peer-to-peer -peer network, BitTorrent, um, are currently class classed as felonies in the United States. The only streaming of such works is considered a public performance, and so is not. So actually, no, this is for the people delivering it. I don't understand why that's not already an issue. I guess like you just get pulled off of YouTube and there's no further action. They're just making it official now. Making it official, like, yeah, okay. So, so it, You know all those sites they've been shutting down for posting uh, links to uh, places on the internet to watch movies and things. Yeah, yeah. This is the law backing what they're doing. Uh, well, I think a lot of those were had trackers for BitTorrent, though. Right? Some of them don't. And that was ICE. That was, that was ICE that was doing that. I mean, I, I watched uh, Fast Five on one of those sites. Yeah, yeah. And it had no tracker for BitTorrent. It was all... Just and, and that embedded was the, video, and that was one of the sites they brought. Yeah, and that's right because they bring down like TV Doc. I think I noticed. Yeah, and you surf know, the channel like and yeah. things of that nature. Yeah. So, and that was weird because they did those on a couple of those sites, and like Blanket took down these sites, and some of them had other sites on the server that had nothing to do with them. Right, which was you know that that's a kind of a grievous overstep, I think, of power, and that's what's unfortunate. I think the uh, I can who handles the dot coms and and everything. Mm. Uh, while they're international. They're based in the United States. So there's going to be a lot of influence. So it's not really an open internet as far as that goes, it seems. So uh, Riz has something to Riz say. Riz has about something this. to say there. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Riz? You got something on this? It says he's muted. Uh, I think I. There we go. How about, how about there, Riz? Hello. Riz? I hear you now. There okay. you are. Hey, there we, we go. All right. What do you got to say, sir? Um, I do frequent YouTube channels that do show, uh, do show like, uh, let's play, sh let's play stuff. And it's like, they just show commentary. They just play a commentary over it. I guess it's more like a, like a, uh, loophole they found in so, doing let's play videos. So what is it? Are they talking about the show over the like, show? It's like a play by play of the show. Okay. Of the of the game. Like Minecraft or or Deus Ex or something like that. Oh, oh so okay. are they calling for like okay, so they're calling for like I'm playing a game and I'm streaming my gameplay. That's a copyright infringement because their game's video is being put online. Exactly. That's wow. That's so essentially So essentially I can't I'm stream. Screwed. Because the Chachi yes, plays, yeah. Chachi plays falls under that. This affects us directly. This would make us well, felons. Not, not really, not really. Uh, no, <laughs> because it's, it's not. Uh, it's kind of difficult to say. Like it, it just shows. Like for Chachi plays, it's the main focus is you. It's yeah. Chachi. Yeah. But but the in most of these there. video game video game uh, let's plays, they only show the video game. Only getting over talked, like talked over by the player uploader. Are these actually referred to as let's play games? Like if I, if I, if I, if I, if I uh, YouTube let's play and say StarCraft. Uh, yes, it is. All right, cool. let, me, let me let me see this because I, I I honestly have not uh, seen any. I mean, I'm sure I've seen some of them because I know a lot of stuff comes on right next to your stuff for Chachi plays. Um, so yeah, let's play StarCraft 2 part one. Uh, here's a little bit. It's loading here. Um, let's see what like this some, is. Some of those let's plays are, now that I'm th I think about it, they are commentary on the game, mm -hmm. but most of them are mo like just gameplay. They don't talk. Or yeah, anything, it does. So. It, so far it's, well, this is a, this is a cinematic at least right now. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it's mostly just a cinematic. So is it like four years ago? Is this like I don't want to play the game, but I want to see what the story is, kind of thing? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. Okay, yeah, I, I can I can see where that could be. That is kind of a gray area. I, I'm amazed that they're kind of going after something like this. But yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty straight up. I just want to say that I might stop a little bit. Just want to make sure my microphone volume levels are in tune. 
trying to find the right balance. Oh, wait, is that the video? My voice. Yeah, I think that's the video. Okay. I thought that was in that kind of, there sort it of is. deal. I thought it was somebody in the Google Hangout. Very, very important, no. I think, to uh, make sure you've got. So, this is like. A bounce so that people so, can still hear you. But uh, you're not drowning everything okay. out, or the music. So side. this is like this is like I'm I'm doing a tutorial on Final Cut, but it's with Star Starcraft, right? Wow. It's, that's what I what I get the feeling. So it, and sometimes it's really really bad, and they scream and swear and everything. Uh, I Justine does this. Yeah, she, she plays. I Justine and she's re- Toby Turner. Yeah, yeah. So they, they all. Would, this is all just... That, that's a little bit overstepping. Just, these people are bored. These <laughs> yeah, government officials are just it. bored. I, so I, they're looking for new people to be a pain in the rear I for. think, And I think it's a little bit of overstep. Because I think they're trying to cover guys like these that are showing the entire games like this. Well, but, but, Machinima but, but they're is, the, um, is the biggest thing they have yeah. on YouTube right now. And all they yeah. show is gameplays and Let's Plays. Mm-hmm. So that kind of kills Machinima. Yeah, yeah, and especially something like Machinima, which is built on something like that, built on that culture of using those to create, uh, you know, Red versus Blue was created on just people with an Xbox and Halo to begin with. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, they have more tools now, I think, the, to, to develop that. But still, uh, that's, I, I think they're trying to accomplish something to get rid of these guys putting out their entire games as spoilers. Uh, but they're they they kind of they're, it's, they're, gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be very sloppily written. Well, what's happening so it, is they're going after one particular group, mm-hmm. but they're punishing everyone. Exactly, exactly. Because I mean, you Just have like, people like I Justine, yes, who takes her free time and just films herself playing Call of Duty mm-hmm. because. The day, she's the, a hot blonde chick <laughs> playing video games. Come on, and you're going to make her a felon now? Yeah. I mean, I, it, her commentary is funny. It is. I, the Dead Space one was pretty hilarious. So, sitting there watching her react to her playing video games is enjoyable. Mm-hmm. But they're trying to punish her because... She's filming herself playing video games. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's just it's just sloppily written. Uh, there was actually something I went in Germany or Nevada, something like that. I know G- Germany. Wow. Or Nevada. It, it was one. I, there was somewhere there was a law where they were outlawing uh, online poker games, but they wrote it as wrote it at, wrote it wrote it as uh, online gaming. Therefore, like playing Quake online was now outlawed because of the miswrote the law. And passed it. Yeah, see? The intention was screwed up because, I mean, the people writing this, the, the lawyers and everything that are writing these, aren't in this industry and don't understand it and don't understand when it applies. They understand how to make a law a law. Listen, they don't understand how to make how it applies to video games. I, I appreciate the lawyers that sign my paycheck. <laughs> I do. Without them, I'd be nothing. But they are some of the... How do I put this? And... Oh. They're lacking common sense. And and and, and uh, actually, uh, uh, Sonic Sonic Screwjob in the uh, chat says, uh, uh, "I think the laws on the books and the enforcements of laws can be different. It allows discretion with enforcement for cooperation and lack of uh, more uh, more lawmakers are not doing the research to effectively govern this. Right. And, and yeah, and that's you know that can that, <sighs> there's, there's definitely a lot. Those guys have other things on their minds, and they're like." And and they do something on about video games. They're probably not taking it seriously, right? At that point, or you know, again, don't understand. The same thing is happening with the, the internet. You know, how yeah, I many weird laws that we report report on here over the time? Um, okay, so yeah, but yeah, uh, but yeah. Thanks for bringing that up there, and uh, Funky Don. So you remember how Sony is on that list? Oh yeah, Sony's on that list. Yeah, Sony's on yeah, that now list. What, what is this list for those people just um, maybe just tuning in? It's not. No, this is. The Sony's on the big list. Oh, the big list. Yeah, the big, the, the big, big fu list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they're not helping their case very much. <laughs> this is the three D thing. Yes. I take it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, really Sony are. is going to stop paying for movie theater three D glasses, but they're not going to stop. Releasing 3D movies. Yeah, this has been interesting. Yeah, apparently uh, they were giving us free glasses. Um, and I just got a tech support question about the uh, sling box from a friend of ours. <laughs> uh, well, that'll be another episode. Um, but no, yeah, I you know, there's that upcharge. How was it? Three, four, five bucks when you go to the theater? Yeah. 
And uh, I thought that covered your glasses. I thought in the long run, that's what that did. No, that Sony was footing the bill for it, or whoever the movie yeah, the maker movie was. Theater, the movie theater's just like, oh, this is an extra feature. You're going to pay for it. Yeah, okay, but I, I think I think Sony was getting some a little bit of that money, too. They should have been. But I would have thought that's, you know, it, it's going to be more expensive for that, more expensive for the hardware for them to do right. 3D. And I thought that all worked out, including the glasses, which they recycle. So, yeah. uh, but apparently not. Now, I, from what I understand, the theaters are fighting back on this. Some of them are saying we won't if they if they do this. And I guess their margins are already slim enough because yes, you're paying ten dollars for a movie for a theater, but how much? I don't want to get into the the the, the uh, no, economy on. of the movies, but they they pay so much for the film it, they have to get so many people in the door for the film before they get make a profit is how i understand it anyway with the movie business please please fill me in on this but still uh <sighs> that's why you have five dollar popcorn um <sighs> but uh but yeah they're they're saying we won't we won't carry 3d movies if they're good do this so good it's too early for sony to do this too early in the trying to get people to no you know what no it's not you don't think it is no you know what, if the movie theaters have been recycling the 3D glasses anyhow, mm -hmm. they should have thousands of these in well, the theater. They're not recycling. They don't have a dishwasher in the back uh, washing that's, the 3D that's glasses. Bull. That no? is bull. Because um, the ones, at least the ones I go to, they're in a new package every time. No, that's bull. Um, what theater was it? No, I go to Cinemark when I go see 3D. Um, for the Harry Potter release, mm -hmm. Chris and I went to... Uh, AMC in the waterfront, and they have very nice racks that mm -hmm. store their thousands of uh, 3D glasses, and those racks go right into a washer. Okay. Okay. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. So, that I, I'm not understanding the issue here. Uh, so, so, uh, Sonic <laughs> in the chat room also says uh, he's heard that most theaters break even at the door and profit at the concession stand. I yeah, I, I think that's the case. Because, yeah, I understand. I mean, the movie theater is getting how big of a cut off of those prints. Just selling the prints for them uh, for that and whatever cut off the movie ticket or whatever. So, I mean, you know, I can understand that. Um, what you said, UV sanita sanitation stations, he thinks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, these glasses are getting cleaned. Yeah. They um, can use them again and again and again. But I don't think everywhere. Maybe, well, maybe no, it's different. Not, I haven't watched a 3D movie for a while. Um, what was the last one? One we went. I went with, to one with you. What the Tron? We went to. Uh, I think it was the last one I was at. So, so maybe maybe they're and not in the package. Chilla anymore. brings up a very good point. Hmm. Why can't we t keep them and save a couple bucks save next the time? Fee. Yeah, save I the usually, fee next time. We I go. usually keep mine, but then I give them to my grandfather so they can look cool. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I only, he had a really fun Facebook uh, picture for a while. I only kept two. Yeah, um, one was from Tron. And actually, that was the first 3D movie I saw. Mm -hmm. And then the other ones were the com commemorative Harry Potter glasses that I stole from Will. Okay. Because they were Harry Potter shape. Well, not, I mean, they were Harry Potter glasses shape. Do we want to talk about the big news we've been avoiding? Um, the big news? The big news. As in the stuff that happened today? The stuff that happened today. Um, uh... No. No? <laughs> we want to make them sweat? Yeah. Okay. We have one more story to cover. The Wonder Years. Yeah. The Wonder Years. So, a Amazon. <laughs> no, um, but then we talked about this last week. I, We're I, like, oh, you got the Wonder Years. That's a kind of a big deal. But, yeah. but but I don't know about the content and everything, yeah. right? But hey, look what came up on my stream this week. The Wonder Years is on Netflix. Well, that's hey, because, I, all right, whether you want to admit it or not, mm -hmm. The Wonder Years... It's a popular show. Mm -hmm. People love The Wonder Years. It was. So I the minute the, stuff. the minute it went to a streaming service, mm -hmm. it was going to every streaming service. And I think that's the problem too. It's like, okay, Fox got it got you know, there's that big letter that was all over Amazon last week. Um, and it's like, okay, there's a bunch of Fox content. Okay, great. You got all the stuff that Hulu and Netflix already has, it looks like for the most part. There's a lot of crossover happening here. Yeah. I am starting to see the 
okay, where's my money going? Is it worth this? I'm definitely not buying Prime for the movies because it's already on these two other services there on my Xbox right. and Amazon isn't. I mean, that's my, that that's, you know, the situation's different for everybody. You maybe got a TV or Roku where you have all those services. You can be a little more selective. But for me, it doesn't seem, you know, too worth it. Dear uh, CBS. Oh, wise and up. Yes. <laughs> I would like streaming Big Bang Theory. I would love to catch up on How I Met Your Mother. Exactly. <laughs> I know my brother's been watching the show on uh, Netflix. There's a reason it's to keep Netflix DVDs, guys. Because you can watch all that stuff that you're like, oh, this this doesn't have a, uh, a streaming uh, 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 deal with anybody. Go get the disc. That is exactly why you keep Netflix discs. It's old school, yes, but that means you'll have more variety overall. So uh, let's, uh, hey, hang out. Who in the Hangout, and let's unmute you, uh, who in the Hangout is excited about the Wonder Years on their Amazon or Netflix? Maybe. Oh, I got a, I got a hand raise. I got a hand Me. raise. <laughs> See? <laughs> but, I mean, are you excited? I mean, you know, we, we, we talk about it, but let's put it out to everybody else. Are, are any of you out there excited for, like, the Amazon Prime? Mm, not really. No. You, you don't think you'll be streaming that to your uh, your Android device anytime soon? No, I got my Netflix. I'm happy with it. Oh, there you go. I mean, well, there's I mean, that competition that's it, already It goes there. back to if you need Amazon Prime. That's true. You order a lot of stuff. Yeah. Rob orders a lot of stuff. Yeah. So you have Amazon Prime. And it was a, no Amazon Prime. Initially, it was just free two-day shipping. After you pay the eighty dollars each year, right, and you get that. Yeah. Now they're adding on stuff like you have free streaming, uh, select streaming on uh, on Netflix or on Amazon Video Service, and they've been adding. Isn't there something else they added too? I don't but they're, know. They're throwing, don't... they're throwing in these other little services, but it's mostly I think for me to check out Amazon Video, which right. worked. Have I talked about this? How I how I went and grabbed a few shows off of there. Yeah, because they weren't yeah, available. They weren't available. Well, they, they were already knocked off of Hulu because it was like burn notice isn't. Excuse me, on Plus, so they'll only have like three ep episodes at a time. But I was familiar with it because I used it with the, you know, with Prime since I had access to it. You know, it, it takes the question mark off it and, and lowers that kind of bar for it. <laughs> so, what, what's on? I, I got the same text. Oh. <laughs> Tell her to tune in and be in the chat room and we'll answer her <laughs> questions. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about Slingbox. I don't know so anything I either. I want to use one, though. Uh, this is another one. While we're talking about TV. Uh, which one are we on? This is the Microsoft one. Oh, okay. Microsoft is uh, reportedly adding video from Comcast, Verizon, HBO Go, and others on Xbox Live. I thought they already had hmm. that. Well, they've explained this before, but this is this is a kind of more of an announcement of who they were okay. going with because i think before they were like hey we're going to get tv and it might be uh it might be uh, xbox live silver and all this stuff but now they're apparently narrowed it down a little bit more uh and and it's gonna be it, it looks like it, it looks like it's not gonna be i can get these programs it looks like kind of xfinity gotcha. i got comcast i'm going to get the streaming Hey, you know what? I love Xfinity. Xfinity. You have that. I yeah. mean, we, we, are you excited about this? You have Comcast already. Uh, you have been looking to get an Xbox 360, actually. Uh, are you excited about the idea that you can just have that as your cable box upstairs? Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's a real thing. I mean, yeah. uh, AT&T Uverse kind of does the same thing already. Yeah. Um, if I can get one device and do everything I want to do on it, mm -hmm. that would be and ideal. Yeah, they are. It's something. just like uh, Rob says. It's not about owning possessions anymore. Yeah. Like physical media. It's, it's access. about Yeah, it's about it's access. what can I do to access everything in one can, place? Can, can, can I do what I want to do when I want to do it? Uh, right. Which which just, you know, goes around to watching TV in the long run. Right. So uh, what about you guys out there? I think a couple of you guys got Xboxes. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Because I, in my room... Because I'm right now in my brother's room, so. Uh, but because he has cable, mm -hmm. uh, but since my since the Xbox is going to be streaming with Xfinity or whatever they're going to call it, uh, now I can go in my room, put on whatever is on TV, mm -hmm. and just watch tv there it, it's another like it's another option without you having to run another line and pay that extra fee for a box. Mm-hmm. So, and I think I don't have to tear up my stuff, and they can just 
stay in my room. What about you, Wheels? <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's creepy. Yeah, it's that sound. <laughs> no, I wasn't laughing at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's totally awesome that you could do that. I mean, I have Armstrong where I live. Mm. But say, so I don't have cable right now, but I use the internet. I can sit there and use my Xbox and watch stuff off of the Xbox with Xfinity and all that. So that's a great idea. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I'm surprised that a lot of people are really kind of latching onto the Xfinity idea. I was like, well, we don't we already have Hulu and stuff, but you do have kind of more of a complete selection, don't you, Josh? I'm sorry. What? Xfinity. Yeah. Complete. <laughs> is it more of a complete collection than like me on Hulu? Yeah. Like it has it has a lot of the content I don't. Yeah, it's like, um, it's Hulu Plus, but you get it with your service. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of nice. You know. Yeah. So. Plus, you have all the stuff from, um, on demand. Mm-hmm. Automatically on your Xfinity page. Mm-hmm. Um, now I'm a big Oz fan. Yeah, but I don't yeah. own any of the DVD box sets. No, there's no reason to. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, yeah. but I'm not going to buy the box sets. All these and new I Star can, uh, Treks are coming out, but they're available on Netflix, so I'm just going to catch them when they come on there. Right. I got Deep Space Nine and Voyager earmarked to, to watch as soon as I'm done with Caprica. That just anytime up. I want to, I can go on to the Xfinity website and watch a season of Oz. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's nice. They're kind of figuring out, and it's a nice value add. It, it keeps you. It keeps you locked in. That's right. for sure. You're you're not looking to change. No, I I'm not cutting any cords. So, um, <laughs> uh, it, uh, from the chat room, uh, the, the Netflix is listening to the cast. Actually, Netflix is uh probably paying close attention to the competition because they're in a, a weak position right now. They really kind of weakened themselves mm-hmm. recently. That that it's so weird that they did that. Uh, it's also it's Jim Carrey cable guy all over again. Yep. Uh, I think equipment. It is. I think equipment rental could be on the way out. It uh. It could be a great way to uh, gain customer loyalty. So, and uh, and prosper the Doctor Who stuff. Who's, it was I just have a door. I have a door. I have Chilla's door. It's <laughs> I think it's Chilla's oh, okay. back again. Are you with us, Chilla? He's trying to figure out this whole uh, Google uh, Hangout thing. Okay. Uh, he said it was all laggy on his it, side. It, it stuff. depends. It, it is yeah. it, certain computers. Like if I bring it up on this computer up here, I get no audio whatsoever. He's on the Zoom now. He's on the Zoom. Yeah. He, so he's doing a hangout from the Zoom. How is that working, sir? I think I know there is a lag if he's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You even hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. We'll see how this lag is. Missy got the sling box <laughs> question too. Five seconds later on my headphones. You're a little. You're you're kind of going in and out. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a lag. So now we know how Hangout works on the Zoom. And I, I forgot that it had a front-facing camera like that. Yeah, there, there, there is a large lag. Yes, very much so. <laughs> so, hey, we'll, we'll work out those kinks. So, um, All right, go ahead. It sucks on Macs. Hangout? I, I, I've had pretty good luck, at, but I'm using like MacBooks. And actually, an old iMac works pretty well with Hangout so far. Um, go ahead. Can we do the thing? Go ahead. Are you sure we can do the thing? Go, Are go. we allowed to do the thing, Chachi? Go ahead. We're out of news. We're out of news. We covered. So we have to talk yeah, about this. Go ahead. iPhone 4 S announced today. S. S. Now, S. Uh, I, I got into it late and realized nothing new had uh, been announced about 45 minutes in. was kind of surprised. Uh, but yeah, it, I'm excited because I have a 3GS. Uh, somebody like my brother who has a 4, not really a reason to upgrade. No, it, it's not. I mean, they they They. Incre- they in- uh, they improved upon some things, but it's not anything to be excited about, really. We're talking a dual core processor, A5, whatever yeah. that means to you. Isn't that the chip that's in the? It's the two? chip. That, it's chip in the the same chip in the iPad right. too. So now so. it's it's up to snuff with that. And yeah. I remember it was a couple of weeks ago we talked about that one game that uh, could only run on the iPad too. Yeah. I bet it's running on this now. Right when this comes out. So I mean. And the camera. Let's the, the, the camera. camera. Uh, um, let me see if I can I, pop up here in the video. Uh, but yeah, eight megapixel camera. Five lenses. <laughs> so yeah, five, five lenses. Five layers of lenses. Which, which um, I'm not a photo person, so I, I wish Rob was here to kind of explain right, uh, what either. that means to um, us. Um, 
the new antenna model. Uh, new antenna. Yeah, which, which, it's all. <laughs> uh, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know I. Start, you were all over this today yeah, on then, Twitter. Then you know I start crap on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Like I will intentionally go against what I believe, <laughs> just to start an argument or to see people get riled up. Um, two weeks ago, they announced that the Allegheny, Allegheny County prisoners used their own money to buy themselves better TVs. And despite what I think about it, I went on Twitter and I had some fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I riled up. I got people riled up. And, and today. And so today, um, people were on Twitter laughing at... Okay, I'm um, sorry. I was reading the chat room to see what the question was. Um, yeah, but, um, we'll get to that. Uh, people were ragging on iPhone mm -hmm. and saying that uh, Apple was trying to take credit for things they didn't create mm -hmm. and overuse of the word innovation. That, that, I'm sorry, that's their buzzword? Right. <laughs> don't apologize. They're, they innovate. That's yeah. what they do. No, no, and it's like, it's like, I'm sorry, don't complain about it. It's their buzzword. Yeah. But, um, they didn't like, call it, uh, I don't think I heard magical at all today. So no. that, at least that was a plus. Right. Because if they said magical, people would have thrown up in their mouths today. <laughs> but, um, one of the examples that they used to support their argument was folders. Mm hmm. Um, Apple made a big deal about having folders. Yeah. And like they I, pointed out that Apple was trying to take credit for starting folders. Which they weren't. What, which they, they, number one, Apple didn't try to take credit for creating folders on a, a mobile device. And number two, um, they said that it was BlackBerry and that BlackBerry should get the credit. To which I responded, Apple never claimed they created folders mm -hmm. and they did it right, which is the definition of innovation. How does it compare to how you handle folders on your Android device, you think? It's about the same. About the same. But, uh, but still. But, but the Apple point had is it the, first. who came first. What is that? Apple had it first. Yeah. I mean, that's... Uh, we we talked about this. Every time Apple has one of these uh, town hall meetings that doesn't involve some new mind-blowing device. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that it seems like Apple is playing catch-up. And creating stuff that other devices have had for a while, but Apple didn't have. And my main point was that when you release one amazing device a year, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're going to play catch up. Mm -hmm. But you leave it's, a lot of <laughs> doors wide open with that. But it's worth it because you release one reliable amazing device a year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when you release one phone per year that's going to rule the phone market you're allowed to play catch up and the my the whole point of that is uh what's it called siri yeah siri yeah. um apple yeah, released let, let's yeah let's talk about the, yeah. the features before we get into why it is or is not uh, exciting. Now, Siri is the thing. Uh, I play with it a little bit. I always <laughs> liked it, but it was its own app. It was hard to, when you're driving, hit the button, and then, uh, like, I want to speak a tweet. And then I have to, like, see if it worked and touch the button and everything. It just it didn't work for me as a, in a driving environment or something like that. There was too much work. But now it's part of it. It's weird because they said it was in a beta, and actually here's a little bit of demo of it here from the keynote. Uh, but it's very conversational. What was the, some of the stuff we saw was like um, uh, set a meeting for two o'clock with so and so, and it says note that you already have a meeting at this time for this. Yeah, no, I mean that's first. Cool. Let's let's point out that um, there are other apps for other devices that do this. Yes. We will point that out. I'm sorry, there was a point that your 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 Green Lantern it fits better ring on that is finger. on the wrong finger. Yeah, it fits better <laughs> on that finger. But um, uh, there are other apps for other devices that do this. Mm -hmm. But that's where the innovation comes in because Apple did it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you got that on your phone. I can use voice commands on my phone too. But isn't it really for for your phone? Isn't it um anywhere there's a text like where you would type text? 
you can say it instead. Yes. So, I mean, it's not a do this and it goes and does an action. You can't, right. I mean, I mean, other than what do you have, like probably voice calling or something? Yeah. Like which, which the iPhone 3GS right. already has. Um, so you have a very functional and practical thing. This is this is actually kind of <laughs> this out is there. innovation. This yeah. is this is a next step. Yeah, this is Siri. Move my twelve o'clock meeting to later, mm -hmm. or move my ten o'clock meeting to twelve o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You already have a meeting at twelve. Oh, we'll move it to later then. And it does it. Find me. Find me. And this is all stuff that's in the video. Yeah. Find me an Italian restaurant. Yeah. Oh, here's the top 25 restaurants ranked by rating yeah. in that area. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tremendous. It's yeah. tremendous. And it's useful. And if it, if it works even slightly as advertised, it's going to be tremendous. Now, they, when they were showing it off, they're like, this is beta. Now, I was not clear. I think it, it will come with the phone. Let me double check. Uh, it, it introducing Siri. Ask Siri to make calls, text, and said, I want to see if there's any, is this coming soon? No, it will be released with your phone, but they put a beta tag by it. So when it doesn't work as advertised, they'll say, hey, right. it's a beta, which is a really weird thing for uh, Mac. To, like I saw in the chat room about Apple lets everyone else uh, beta, beta out and then pulls it all together. Uh, they're literally uh, calling out their beta this time. Uh, which is kind of a, a different a different strategy for them. It's a, it's a little weird. It, it doesn't seem like a just the job just thing for these guys. Right. But uh, but it is if it works anything like they were showing off there, it's going to be tremendous. Um, we talked about the camera. Uh, video is going to be updated to 1080p. Uh, yes. More stabilization based on the gyroscope. That's what's got me excited. That's what made me almost want a four. <laughs> Was the upgrade to HD? Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, okay, it's little little thing. But it's like, but I have HD in my pocket on my phone. I'm carrying around anyways, and I'm looking at alleys and stuff. And I would love to do one of those. I made this entire short film on an iPhone project for me as a video creator. Uh, you got something there, Chach? Uh, yeah. Question in the chat room. Mm -hmm. uh, will it be iPhone 4S only or iPhone firmware so iPhone 4 guys can get it? Um, if uh, you're talking about the Siri software, Siri. they said that it would be iPhone 4S Yes, only. this is kind of like when the 3GS got the voice calling because there was the more processor. I think that's what makes it different than like Siri we've had before uh, because it's, ta it's taken a little more to get to it. Um so yeah, it is a 4S feature. So this is one of those, you'll want the 4S for this. But it's beta? I don't know. Right, I mean... I, I, I don't know what to think about that side of it. I, I won't be buying this phone just for Siri on my end. No, but it's, it's still a pretty cool innovation. No, for you, it's all about the upgrade. Mm -hmm. um, and, th and thanks, uh, uh, my... Minulad. Yeah, Minulad. <laughs> Minulad. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Thanks for the question there. Um... Uh, now, was there any other features we missed? Uh, the 1080p. There's a video. There's a lot of iOS five that we haven't seen in the beta yet. Cards. C what's card stuff? I card. Missed, I, this, this is the early part that I missed. <laughs> card. Card is a. Let me see from this. Let me see if I can figure out from the stats here. It, oh, card and friends and family. Uh, I'll get to family. I'll get to friends okay. and family. Um, card. Why am I the one explaining all How this to you? How did you know all this? Because I because I had a I had a shoot today. I'm, I missed most of it. <laughs> but um, and they're past it. Card is basically a greeting card app where you can create the greeting card. They'll print it out and send it anywhere in what the U.S. Is this? or why outside why the country. Why are they doing this? Depending on where you're sending it, how is how much it costs. That is so weird. <laughs> That is the weirdest thing for them to throw in there. For Not like, really. Well, is it? Think about it. Why? Everything is on the go now. Mm -hmm. All right. People are moving faster, doing more things. So you're out. You get a calendar reminder that it's your sister's birthday. She lives in California. You're in Pittsburgh. Okay. You, on your iPhone 4S, open up the app and go and create a card. And it sends it to her. For you. So this is for the people without a personal assistant to uh, send their wife flowers when they forget the anniversary. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then uh, friends and family is a tracking software. Now, it looks like it's fine my iPhone, but I can include other people. Now, I'm already kind of doing this because I made sure our iPads and our iPhones between me and my wife are right. uh, 
or on one account so we can kind of see like oh where you where you at or you know we can look it up and say hey I, I did i leave my iphone back at the cafe i could look up no it's right beside you right. according to this uh and you send the thing you can find it but know. the thing when, with this is is you can set limitations mm -hmm. like i mean you can set that you're tracking someone say your child has an iphone you can make sure that they go to school Mm -hmm. because you can you can make sure that they go to school and stay at school mm -hmm. because you can set to get reminders or notifications you know it's that interesting i don't know if they've updated their website with uh these new apps that they announced today they probably did I, I haven't seen too much uh i'm looking through the site yeah i'm not seeing a lot of these just yet um which that's that's really weird but i mean I, and then again i mean this is all stuff that could be just iphone 4s yeah so yeah, I think there's going to be certain limitations. Probably half of this stuff isn't going to show up until like maybe a four, maybe three GS will be knocked out. Yeah. But that was the other interesting pricing. Okay, of course the new stuff's going to start at one ninety nine for the sixteen gigabyte. Right. Uh, iPhone four, as we know and love it from a year ago, over a year ago, is going to be uh, ninety nine dollars, and the three GS still going to be sold for free on contract. Yes. So now there is no excuse for you not to get an iPhone. Right. Unless you're on T-Mobile. Right. <laughs> Don't get me Sorry, started. sorry, sorry. Well, it doesn't sorry. matter. We I'm buying yours. Last week, was that? I'm buying yours. You're buying mine? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, so, I mean, there you go. I mean, it's uh, it, it's really kind of opened it up. Now there's like no, like, you know, oh, it's too expensive to get an iPhone. But I mean, it's, not that le it's not that elite device anymore. Now there's levels of it. Well, I mean, and then they also talked about the, uh, the finalized notifications bar, mm -hmm. which once again, they're just playing catch up. Um, and that's fine. I'm going to go for it, Apple. That's and fine. then um, an iCloud icon put right on the phone mm -hmm. and all that. So. Uh, let's touch on this, and then we'll open it up to the guys left in the hangout here. Um, and Chilla brought this up. Uh, my question is, uh, did, what did people want? I'm guessing if they uh, would have called uh, the iPhone 5, people would have been a lot happier. Right. Well, it, it, that, that was the thing. A lot of the feeling. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I got an email from uh, our friend Sonic. Mm -hmm. Is that something I can't show? No, it's what two Green Lantern rings. Oh, okay. It's his Green Lantern <laughs> rings. Show, show the camera. <laughs> but one camera of there. them is exactly the one I'm wearing right now. Nice. You guys are like kindred spirits. <laughs> Tremendous. Uh, but no, I, there was a lot of flashback, it felt like. Because, I mean, one, it took forever for them to get to the phones. They announced new uh, iPod Touches, which are starting at $199 now. Uh, it, yeah, the basically. Na the Nano has a wristwatch app to go along with the, the, the straps everybody's been making. Um, they, they talked about all this other stuff. And people were very, very underwhelmed. I was listening. I was stuck on a C on the CNET video stream, which just drove me nuts. Uh, yeah, it, it was bad. It, yeah, <laughs> it, well, Twit was down. Okay, Twit was down, and Gadget was down, and so I couldn't get to anything. Everybody and then I found out nothing happened. <laughs> it was just so. Everybody so wanted bad. five. That's Every, what they everybody wanted. Everybody was like, "I want an iPhone five because we heard the rumors for so long, and there were these cases. The rumors just got so out of hand but it, over the last months. Right, people were so eager I, they didn't stop to look at history. Well, I think well, you know, the other thing is it took so long, and you know, I, I was corrected by uh, Ascot Sweep today. Uh, you know, you realize you know this is behind because of the the tsunami. You right. know, there's Sony components in there; they got screwed. You know, and, and yep. that's 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 probably what happened. So I think the wait. I know for me, the wait has been like excruciating since I'm on this old phone. I'm like, where's my new phone? I should have had it in July, and this is it. You would have had happy. it in July. I would have had it. Everybody would have had it in July. That happened. They redirected. Um, and I think the the enthusiasm and the wait and the anticipation just outgrew what they had prepared for this year uh, because of it. Um, Label to camera? What's that? I, 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 I don't, I'm confused by what's in the chat room. But what, what do you got with a label over there? I don't know. Oh. Uh, but anyways. Oh, label to camera. I gotcha. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, no, We don't care about that here. Please sponsor no. us, Fago. <laughs> Yeah, anyone, really. Actually, anyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, it, it, and that's what it is. This would have been, you, you guys would have had this in July. Yeah. But natural disasters happen. <laughs> I mean, earthquake. Because of, what, because of what happened in Japan, everything was pushed back. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take it to the chat room. I know, Riz, you are actually in the market for an iPhone right now. 
Uh, uh, we, we, we were tweeting back and forth a little bit. What do you think uh, uh, of, of the announcements today? Well, first of all, I'm on Sprint, so I can, <laughs> and, and I'm on an Android phone, and it is the the announcement that Sprint's going to be on the the iPhone's going to be on the Sprint service really sets me off to go get one. Do it and it's do like, it. It's like yeah, do it's it. Like Christmas and, for you, yeah. And uh, like you said, since I have another iPod, iPod mm. Touch, for uh, iPod Four. Mm. And now I see the price is one ninety nine for another iPod. Why get the iPod when you can pay the same price mm-hmm. for maybe a little bit more contract fee, whatever, to get an iPhone? Right. That's, yeah. Yeah. Listen, the way I'm seeing it, and I'm an original Android person. Right? You're, you're OG Android. Yes, I've been there since the beginning. <laughs> The very first Android device released was the T-Mobile G1, the HTC Dream, and I I jumped on it because I didn't have an iPhone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you're like, hey, it's an alternative. Let's go. Yeah. So I I took I took the the ball and I ran with it. Mm. Um, but no, iPhones. <laughs> yeah, they're they're they more got- stable. Yeah, yeah, I've had more crashes and more problems with my Android device uh, oh, than yeah, anyone I know with an iPhone. I haven't had as many crashes as you did until I started running beta software. Exactly. So with the the with the the vault uh, default software, you've been fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, I have to wipe my phone and start from scratch like once every three and a half you months. Like a Windows PC? Yeah, pretty much. Man. Riz, what was that? Yeah, my my. My Samsung Transform always crashes once a week, at least. Yeah, I mean, and that, that, yeah, and I see, I hear like more. Facebook, yeah. Facebook doesn't work sometimes. Mm-hmm. You have to Twitter sometimes crashes on me. It's just hey, most one of the people. Of I, I, uh, I I've had some, you know as you know I work sometimes uh, in our cafe and I've been having like certain days I'll end up having a conversation about cell phones with everybody that comes in there and uh, you know half the people are on Android half are on iPhone for the most part but usually the ones on Android are like yeah it does this weird thing you know it, it's, it's, it's that's today, the number one talk, phrase at that interview I was talking with Melissa today and she's like oh there's this and it but it does this weird thing you know that's it, the it's, number it's, one <laughs> phrase from Android users. It's nice, but it does this weird it thing. It does this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, and now, Wheels, you, you are an Android user over on Cricket. Uh, what, uh, you know, what, are you, what are your thoughts of this in, in comparison here? Is he here? Is he here? Honestly, I mean, right now, I think, just like Chachi would say, I mean, I honestly wouldn't mind an iPhone if Cricket would come up with a... Mm-hmm. contract with them. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting one. And you never know. It could any day at this point. They so have so many options. Right. It's yeah, not exactly. A... I mean, if you go on crickets... Oh, sorry, Chachi. No, no, go ahead. It's all right. You go ahead. This is a little bit of delay. We're just going to work with you. Oh, okay. No, uh, what I was going to say is, I mean, if you go over there, you're right. Each day they come out, come out with a new phone. So who knows when iPhone will decide they want to... Uh, say, all right, fine, let's take it to the cricket customers. Mm-hmm. Technology isn't the issue at this point. Because we obviously have have <laughs> we have the technology. <laughs> well, they, we can they, build it. We, we can build it. We can, we can convert it. We have a world phone now. No, what I, it is, mm-hmm. is the iPhone is not a necessity. Mm-hmm. So for people like Wheels and I, we're happy with the phone company we're with. Exactly. Exactly. So there's no need for us to uh, pull the plug with that phone company but, and move. But, uh, no, it, it, it's a definitely a big. It's a big decision to change exactly change cell phone companies. There's uh, there's moving, there's changing schools, and there's changing your cell phone provider. Um, you know, so, it's it, it, and 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 go, just go with me, okay? Um, no, no, I was I'm, I was considering the chat room. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead, um, ignore me. But uh, yeah, but it would be nice if the you know if you want to refer to it as the Ferrari cell phones comes your way. Yeah. You know? yeah. But you know, there's so much stuff going on in that company. I'm not surprised. Right. You know, it seems like a weird buy-in for them to do right now if that company's not going to be around in here. Yeah, that's true. So, um, so I'm going to refer this to you. But if the iPhone 4s has both bands in it, then it'll have a a SIM card slot. Wait, wait. wait, wait. How was that again? It, 
And they re- re- I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't absorb the whole question. Uh, but the iPhone 4 will have both uh, antenna bands. Okay. So would it be safe to say that it has a SIM card slot? Um, I don't understand entirely how world phones work, but how I understand world phones work, they basically, it's CDMA here. You go over there, it's GSM, because that's what the rest of the world is. So yes, that requires a SIM card slot. Your iPhone on Verizon, as it was before on CDMA, not world phone, would not have a SIM card slot. As I understand it, please, if you're on any of these devices or anything, uh, and actually I'm curious, because we have a MiFi on Verizon that's supposed to be a world, you know, accessible uh, 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 MiFi. And I don't know that there's a SIM card slot. But from my understanding of it, there should be. And maybe they just kind of hide it in there. They might hide it. Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> it's got to be something that's... Yeah, yeah. But that was the other interesting thing. The antennas. We talked about how there was a separate antenna. What, it, was, it was one for the data. No, one for the talk, one for the data. Or either way, there's two antennas going on there. And it sounds like it enables your CDMA. You can't uh, be on a call and, say, pull up a web page. You know, well, this this happens with iPhone users. Yeah. If you're not familiar, uh, you you pull you're on a call and say, "Hey, let me check that." You put them on speaker. I pull up the email. I pull up uh, Google Maps. Whatever it works. Apparently, it doesn't work that way on something like Verizon. I imagine Sprint because it would be CDMA. Uh, but but they, since they have the two antennas, it actually is making two connections and can split off those tasks, which is a really really nice upgrade uh, for for those services. And actually, gives me one less reason not to go to Sprint or Verizon. If that's the case, how's that, how's that doing over there, Josh? It's all iPhone four stuff. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know, Chilla. Um, I'm not finding anything on my phone, but we'll we'll find out. Um, he he does say the the Verizon BlackBerry he has has a SIM card slot. Yeah, mine too. But is only usable when Verizon can't be contacted. Yeah. So I mean, there. I mean, Verizon is like we don't want you taking this and doing this. It, you know, Verizon is yeah. very territorial on their phones. So I imagine it's going to be the same way. You're not going to see. I'm sure they have plenty of blocks of you going from provider to provider on that case. So, um, so yeah. Well, um, I think that's what we got here today. We need to roll out of here uh, so we can yeah. get to the wrestling mayhem show. Uh, and you know, I actually didn't properly intro- introduce them. We kind of threw into the hangout. Yeah. I want to thank uh, uh, Hot Wheels, of course, at Har- Hot Wheels R W A and uh, Riz at Riz I U P. They join me. Uh, uh, pretty regularly nowadays on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, thank you for dropping in, and, and you guys have seen the back of the head of uh, of the Silent Ninja, my brother, who's two floors up from me right now, uh, doing his drawing. <laughs> uh, he's at the Silent Ninja uh, for making his cameo appear- appearance here. Uh, let's start with the Chachi. Your Chachi says dot net. Yes. 1001 video games. Chachi says the vidcast. Unsung. Mm-hmm. New. All linked on SorgatronMedia.com. New Unsung, episode 12, coming Monday. Yep. Actually, we talked, you might be interested, we talked with somebody from uh, CMU this week. Uh, I think that's still a story for this week. I, I, we have it in the can. I, I think that's what we're still doing. I, I have to look back Who at that script. Who knows? Uh, but no, we had a really good uh, uh, talk over there uh, about SponsorChange.org. It's a pretty cool uh, tech startup they're doing over there for charity. And... Um, and uh, I got to take a little tour of Project Olympus over there at CMU. Nice little uh, incubator where we ran up and ran to our friend uh, from Geneva Mars that was on the show uh, several episodes ago. So small world. Um, so go check that out. Yep. And of course, uh, this has been your awesome cast. Oh I'm yes, sore. and oh, uh, what, what what's up? The the me giggle dot tumblr oh, dot com. Me, how is me giggle dot uh, tumblr dot com going? Good. Let me bring it up here yeah. for people to see. What is the latest me giggle? What has made you oh, laugh? What was it lately? I forget what the last one was. It's the. Uh, it, it's apparently the bridge was cold and it's a blanket. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I was picking up equipment in one of our conference rooms, and I looked out the window and I saw a bridge that they were doing um, construction on. Mm-hmm. Now, I, if you've never paid attention, um, when they do construction on a bridge, if it's uh, the actual top part of a bridge, they cover it up with what looks like a patchwork quilt. <laughs> A giant patchwork yeah. quilt. And if that's doing, how big it is. Yeah. And if they're doing work <laughs> under the bridge, all they do is put up nets and stuff. I don't know. Is it, it's already a fuzzy picture, so I don't know how big right. I can make this. But <laughs> I, I, I tried to... Uh, to. You took a picture yeah, take, from the 42nd floor across the city. Yeah. 
and drew a tiny arrow. I imagine you used paint. I did. Yes, you How'd did. How'd you do? How'd uh, you know? Because that's all you know how to make <laughs> I images know. with. All it's right. all I know. I'm Sorg at Sorgatron.com. I've been talking about my experiments with Final Cut X. I edited this show, the Mercy Mayhem show, and Chachi says last week with it on the trial version. Uh, and uh, I have a lot of thoughts there. I had a Google Plus. Actually, I got a Google Plus thread going. Uh, also, with my thoughts, I'm sure I'm going to start updating that when I get to this show tonight. Uh, and of course, you can check out all of our stuff. Uh, please visit our sponsors. Click them on the site, Drobo, uh, Hulu Plus. You get a free seven day trial. That's a quickie version of the ads tonight, Chachi. Um, <laughs> cause we're running out of time. And of course, you can check out awesomecast.com. We are right here. You can join us. Maybe we'll do something crazy like this Google Hangout again. Live.sorgatronmedia.com, 7 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday. Uh, Twitter us at awesomecast. You can contact us at contact at awesomecast.com. Just like the lovely people that did tonight, yes. Chachi. Thank you very much. I, I love seeing more feedback on this show, uh, more interaction. We love That's the emails. We love the emails. In the chat room. You also would love to get some voicemails, which we haven't gotten any of yet. Uh, 724-25-ACAST. 724-252-2278. Uh, you know, we'll accept drunk ones. Uh, get drunk. Tell us why the iPhone sucks. And uh, we'll go with that. Uh, you can also check us out. Find the show on iTunes, Mediafly, Roku, Blip TV, YouTube, Stitcher, something else. Everywhere Vivo, the everywhere. internet is. Just look up the awesome cast in Except one of for those. China and we'll Nebraska. And nowhere in Nebraska. No, we're not in Nebraska. Thanks, guys. This is Sorg for Chachi for the Hangout right here in Pittsburgh, PA. You've been our awesome audience. Thanks to our awesome chat room. Have an awesome week. Okay.